Okay, before we get to the counting, I uh, learned of a, uh, received inspiration from God on high for a another video idea to criticize the church <laughs> about uh, the value non-value of BYU uh, degrees education. I uh, got to figure out if it's going to be too long to put education versus degrees in the title. <laughs> uh, but uh, let me write it down first. Uh, value non... Oh, the other disk is done. I'm saving the previous video, that I, the comment video about Lucifer. I gotta get the picture. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Of course, you're going to be too late <laughs> when you finally get this video. <laughs> of BYU. I could probably put EDU. That would work. EDU. Value, non value of BYU, EDU. There we go. That works. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm going to pause and take care of this, put in the next disc. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. And, uh, um, people go to a university for higher education. That's what universities are. Uh, colleges, they're supposed to be higher education. <laughs> But they're just a continuation of high school now. So we've sort of redesigned school systems throughout our nation. Uh, and as a result, uh, people in a particular field, when they do their doctoral thesis, uh, they don't have to be going to get a medical doctor license. <laughs> they allow doctors in any field now almost any field. Uh, uh, cooking, I don't think there's a doctoral degree for that. <laughs> but uh, uh, the intention is that uh, once you've gotten public school taken care of, those are supposed to be your core basic understanding of all the sciences. Not creationism, evangelical Christians. The sciences. And uh, so that when you get to uh, college, as it used to be, or university, uh, you're now working uh, to actually create, uh, design, to invent, uh, to uh, discover uh, uh, new things in your field. That's what you're getting the education for. You're not just to toe the party line and keep everybody in the dark, you're supposed to progress and improve in the scientific field that you've gone into. Uh, and unfortunately, it, it, it's gone away from that. You know, if you become an Egyptologist, you have to toe the party line. You can't come up with a discovery like the pictures in the papyri need to be translated to. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> go against our tradition. We're making a living by keeping the tradition and you're trying to make discoveries. How dare you? <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we, they don't do that anymore. And so when I was at uh, the University of Utah, uh, I had an ancient history class of the Middle East and uh, the teacher uh, uh, assigned uh, the class to do a report on a particular subject. Just a report. Uh, and of course, today's reports are like grade school reports. I read this book and I'm doing a report on it. <laughs> That's what his intention was. We're a university and he's wanting a basic report. No! 
I cannot go. I didn't take that class to just do the tradition. It was specifically done to enhance my understanding about my discoveries in Paleo Hebrew and Egyptian glyph decipherment. That's why I took the class was to learn more about the subject matter to not only uh, verify and confirm my theory with a uh, testing but you know to see if there's anything more that needed to be added that I was missing and so when he said the report oh great I can do uh, my report on uh, my theory and uh, and so when a classmate I uh, asked, so what are you doing yours on? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to do it on the decipherment of Paleo-Hebrew and its connection to e ancient Egyptian. <laughs> uh, 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 we have to do that? <laughs> we have to make a discovery? <laughs> no, just a report. And so, yeah, the peer pressure. <laughs> I already set the bar too high for the class because that person went and told others. <laughs> and so the whole class was stressed. We have to actually do work. We have to actually do research. <laughs> My parents paid for me not to do that. <laughs> and so the teacher got word of it and he had to tell the class, no, you don't have to make a discovery. You don't need to do research, just a report. <laughs> you don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. Oh, whew. <laughs> uh, so I did my thing because I wasn't going to settle for less and turned it in and and the teacher wanted to talk to me about it because he was curious how did you I this is interesting because uh, notice Babel becomes Babylon with the N at the end that's a pattern and, uh, and so that was the focus that I I spent on uh, my paper <laughs> and uh, he wanted to learn more about that I never got around to a meeting with him though so but uh, <laughs> when I I talked to you guys uh, about my Rick's education uh, that was college and when I transferred to the University of Lethbridge in Canada they didn't take most of the uh, courses from Rick's they didn't accept them because it's a private religious school and they don't acknowledge the credit hours for uh, the classes that I took that they knew were biased against uh, science and so it's the same with BYU when a person says they've got a, a degree from BYU and usually it's a master's or, or a, a, even a PhD from BYU you know now that it's a worthless degree because that's the system that is employed you do reports on the status quo just like you did back in grade school it's just a continuation of, of the the uh, the grade school learning and all of the stuff we learn in our uh, higher education could all have been taught to us in grade school. So why they don't do that system, I don't know. But uh, it's designed to keep people suppressed. So that when you graduate, you stick to the status quo and you go work for a company that maintains the status quo. And so... <sighs> And so there's a lot of stuff to discover because of this technique that they're using or tactic that they're using uh, and so yeah BYU education on somebody's resume is not good <laughs> my brother for example uh, valedictorian 
in his class and uh, decided to go to BYU and uh, of course had the mission in between. Uh, uh, he then graduated I, with high honors at BYU and I, I don't think he made valedictorian at BYU but uh, uh, then he decided to go to Michigan for uh, geog geology or geography or something geo uh, but then changed because it was too hard <laughs> and went into sociology <laughs> because sociology sticks with the status quo it's an easy course I took several classes the one by D. Michael Quinn uh, is sociology of Mormonism I took that class it was cake there was no challenge to it whatsoever and, uh, but uh, <coughs> I also took some at the University of Lethbridge and and they're a little more complicated <laughs> than here in the States and so yes that's why Lethbridge at the time was a top five ranked school not a top ten a top five ranked school and uh, because uh, they made sure to get the best teachers uh, but uh, <laughs> here in the States sociology is cake <laughs> it's like humanities <laughs> an art major <laughs> I, I, I took art for all my electives well most all I had weight training and auto repair <laughs> but uh, I think also a uh, metal shop <laughs> and a cooking <laughs> and uh, a, a, a an office aid <laughs> all right so it wasn't all art <laughs> but I did take a lot of art from Swigheimer uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the intention was to have people uh, have, be an apprentice when you go to the university or even a college. And thus, when you graduate, you go right into being a master in the field because your thesis paper establishes you into a career. Uh, and uh, uh, that's why people would normally say, Oh, well, this is so and so. He he did his thesis on this, and uh, that's no longer the issue anymore. <laughs> and so, even though uh, Scully from X Files uh, did her thesis work on showing how Einstein is wrong, <laughs> that's no longer the practice anymore. And nobody really does any challenging thesis work. In their particular field they just reinforce <laughs> the tradition and uh, people let them get away with it to put them out into society you know because after all that ed years of education and all the debt that's accumulated to just say uh, no you need to do some actual research <laughs> and deny them uh, after all that work is kind of humiliating but they've allowed it now so it's ruining our nation and we're no longer leaders in certain fields as a result all right so yeah BYU ed education is worthless <laughs> thus value non-value <laughs> if you're not familiar with the Mueller report <laughs> summary non-summary <laughs> that Barr claimed <laughs> uh, he's just trying to protect himself and delay the actual report coming out because it's damaging so yeah we, we're all being played for fools as we're continually being attacked because we don't have the best in computer internet technology the other countries do and we're under attack so <laughs> thought I'd slip that in 
we're at uh, 90 percent complete on saving the other movies so I'll have to wait until that's done and uh, before I can do this one so there you go